the perfect literacy lesson can be an absolute nightmare. Well, in less time than it takes you to find your pencil, you can have an amazing literacy lesson. Everybody loves a book with fabulous illustrations, but why spend your precious weekend looking for resources? Well, now you can teach the perfect grade five literacy lesson with only five minutes planning time. You can have the hot off the press New York Times number one best-selling children's picture book, The Day the Crowns Quit by Drew Daywalt. Pictures by Oliver Jeffers, published in 2013. We all love lessons that include critical and visual literacy, but putting together such a lesson can be a chore. Just look at these beautiful examples from the book. Critical Literacy In this introductory critical literacy lesson, students will consider the perspectives of central but different colour crowns in the picture book The Day the Crowns Quit by Drew Daywalt. They will look at the story from different crowns' points of view and give voice to their thoughts and feelings, thereby gaining much deeper understanding of the story and realising that every story truly gives just a partial account of what happens. Visual literacy will come from examining each crown's mood or situation as reflected in the illustrations that accompany the crown's letter. Everybody loves activating schema through using probing questioning. Why come up with your own ideas or settle for boring when you can have the ready planned fresh lesson in just five minutes? We also provide a book summary which summarises the sequence in which the book unfolds. To further develop literacy skills, you can examine the expressions of the crown in the pictures. How do you think each crown is feeling, making notes on the board? Read aloud the day the crowns quit. Revisit the board and ask students, were we on the right track with the crowns' feelings? Examine the voice and tone of the grey crowns' letter through the use of capitals, underlining, font size and punctuation. These could be open for interpretation and therefore need to be addressed within the lesson through modelling and examining the use of capital letters and underlining throughout the book. Link the letter back to visual images of the grey crown and examine the correlation between the two. Model a response from Duncan from the perspective of the grey crown. Students will contribute through sharing their thoughts and ideas. We provide a ready-made model of the letter. Students' knowledge will be consolidated through students selecting a letter, examining the tone of the letter and accompanying image. Students pretend they are Duncan and respond to the crown, making sure they address the problem the crown is having. We provide a worksheet with writing comps. Your students will write a fabulous letter using the conventions of letter writing, and to finish it off, they will draw a picture that complements the tone of their response. Perfect every time. We have the perfect closure of the perfect lesson. Assme assessment is covered. The conventions of letter writing, punctuation, grammar, spelling, the content of the letter, and peer assessment. What about early finishes, you ask? Not a problem. We have that covered. Just look at this fabulous extension activity. The best thing about this lesson? It's easy to accommodate second language learners. Helping them with the structural letter and providing writing prompts in English and the students' native language. All of this with just five minutes planning? Amazing! You can spend countless hours planning literacy lessons, but right now during this introductory offer you get the complete lesson plan along with a copy of the book, extension activities and suggestions for second language learners. All this for three easy payments of $9.99. Call in the next five minutes and we will include a second copy of the book absolutely free, valued at $17.99. Operators are standing by, so jump on the phone and call the toll free number 1-800 I want that book now. Created using Powtoon.